And then I started a private practice at Braemar Hospital and then one at Southern Cross Hospital. And I also started a few integrative health clinics in New Zealand. And I, I have, I've been very humbled by my patients in New Zealand and they've really opened my eyes to a whole new way of doing things because I, I realized when I had time to actually start analyzing these things that there is such a tremendous amount of information that can promote health and wellness in cancer patients. And so I started, um, I was the first oncologist in New Zealand to actually give intravenous vitamin C to my patients who were also on cancer treatment. And we were able to give that vitamin C intravenously to over, you know, over a thousand times using someone's portacath, which is the device through which they get their regular treatments. And it does have to be treated with care. It can't be done just by someone who doesn't have proper training, but with proper training and sterile technique, it, there's no implication for, no reason whatsoever why patients cannot receive intravenous vitamin C. So my, my practice, because everyone in New Zealand has access to a, a, a pretty good public system, my role as a private practitioner in an area that, where there were no other private practitioners at the time involved providing access to drug therapies and other options that were not available in the public sector. And one of the deficits that I realized is that no one talks about nutrition as part of their cancer consultations. And so that started making me extremely popular with the patients. And a lot of patients, I, I wasn't that big on IV vitamin C, but there was such a demand for it. And I thought, okay, well, we'll see if this works and how we, we can make it as easy as possible. And it became rather seamless and um, it was very easy. It was a part of my consultation. I could see people leaving smiling, whereas they, they, they felt disempowered when they came in. They left smiling, feeling empowered, feeling like they could do this, even though they'd been sent home to die, told they had three months to live, and that was that. And some of these patients, we were seeing them live, you know, three years longer, five years longer, seven years longer, some of them that were told they had less than a year. And there's been very little in my life that's been more gratifying than that. And and so I began to be sort of an oddity in New Zealand because I was the only oncologist that was talking to patients about nutrition. And so it, it became a very, very interesting time because the integrative community and the complementary community were doing a lot of things. Some of them didn't like me giving vitamin C because that was part of their business model. But then others thought, well, it's nice to have someone that's actually looking after the whole patient. And they realized that I wasn't really competing with them because they couldn't actually use the portacath. Um, and we could.